Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us we have the Jensen SR-50 Digital Wizardry. <laughs> yes, uh, actually a pretty good radio for under 17 bucks. Uh, pretty impressed with it so far. Um, nighttime AM listening was nice in the review video we saw. So now we're going to do a daytime yeah, medium wave band scan is currently 9.35 a.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois, USA. Now, I took this radio apart. It has a pretty decent beefy speaker in there, about two and a quarter inches like I thought. Pretty big magnet in that, so that's where it's getting some good bass sound out of this. Uh, FM's amazing on here. Uh, daytime AM, not so amazing, but we're going to find out because it has a little baby ferrite antenna about this big, about an inch and a half. So it does okay at night, but during the day... It might struggle a little bit, so let's give it a shot. I do have it on, I believe. And then we'll go ahead and just tune, see what we can find. WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. WIND, Chicago, the Illinois. Numbers were released last the answer? We've got the lowest level of people in applying for unemployment benefits that we've seen in 49... This is WILL, Urbana, Illinois. Usually this would be Michigan Station, not picking it up. Probably won't get the next one. This is usually WMT Cedar Rapids. We'll just make something out. Outstanding. I'm sure that's the case. But it's not just about that. It's, it's about growing... The economy of states and countries. WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Decision making that music on WMFN, Pietorn, Illinois, 640. I do, and I think I, I think I know where we're headed here, but it's an important conversation when it comes to the 2018 WSCR, and now the 2019 score? Chicago Cubs. The Addison Russell. It's got a little bit of a noticeable hiss to it. On the whole, it's going to be something that franchise tries to tackle. Not too bad. I have that game 6 o'clock here on 720 WGN. The Bulls lost to the Bucks in preseason play. Bears linebacker Khalil Mack named the NFC Defensive Player of the Month for September. Music here is WNDZ, Portage, Indiana. Cool. Well, it's picking up more than I thought. Pretty impressed. Southbound 53. Veterans told northbound heavy from 88 to Butterfield. Route 53 southbound from the Adams to Higgins. The roads in northwest Indiana are moving along fine. Get traffic and weather together on the 8s every 10 minutes on News Radio 780 and 105.9 FM. WBBM AccuWeather in the wake of a cold front, a gusty breeze throughout the day today and much cooler compared to Wednesday. We'll see partly sunny skies, temperatures in the 50s for a while, recovering 50s, to about 60 what? this afternoon, <laughs> dropping to 50 Love weather. tonight. Is okay. <laughs> that was 780 WBBM. You guys didn't hear that? Okay. Okay, now I got so it. Going All right, conspiracy theory land. Okay. This is a very liberal station. This is WCPT, Willow Springs, Illinois, 36 miles away. Ken Starr did not find credible. Yes, I'm sorry. The $100 bill in trouble. I usually don't listen to that. Not because it's, I don't mind their opinions, but <laughs> they whine a lot. <laughs> I don't like political whining, so I usually turn those off. 
I'd rather listen to some crazy music than that. <laughs> Speaking of crazy, <laughs> W-A-I-T, Crystal Lake, Illinois. Okay. The party commission that did not substantiate the allegation. WLS, Chicago, Illinois. They put together a funny report that... Again, feedback from my camera. The white beater. The woman beater. Big... Some faint stations up here. This is the Big Badger, WOKY, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Well, maybe not so faint for most radios, but for this radio, it's barely picking it up. WBKM, Sandwich, Illinois. Barely picking this up. WFAW, Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. WNTA, Chicago. Barely picking that up. I do like this display, it's nice. I recommend if you get this radio, use rechargeable batteries. Um, because a lot of times, if you like mute it like I just did, and you forget you have your radio on, and this light goes out, um, you, you really don't know if the radio's on because <laughs> there's no indicator that the radio's on, unfortunately. Like right there, I, I left it on and it drained my batteries. So if you have rechargeables, that's the way to go with this radio, definitely. Thought to share that. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? It won't turn on. This is WHA Madison, barely picking it up. So it's pretty good for your locals and somewhat semi-locals. The young controllable arm. There might be a team out there willing to give up a lot to get them because they're the young controllable arm. And that can really benefit a team that has a lot of holes when it comes to hitting. The moment you lose them, you're going to be trying to find a young controllable arm again, though. Right? Like the moment yeah. Katana's gone, yeah. so he was going to have so to find another. the young controllable and go send Patrick Corbin for $100 million? No shot. He's here. 100% WNVR Vernon Hills, Illinois I like the question but that's seven FBI investigations by the way this guy WLIP No Show Wisconsin I'm going to pick this up WTSO, Madison, Wisconsin. A lot of static there, a lot of noise. Okay, 1110, WMBI, Chicago, Illinois, with some music. Just to find a few people who are right for my 1130s, WISN, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Then I went to ZipRecruiter. In doctor's offices, you have to put up with game shows bellowing from the wall. In large cities, the sounds of jackhammers, car horns, and sirens, let me talk to you about New York, are unending. I don't know where you go to get quiet if you live in downtown New York, no matter what time of day or night it is. I guess you just get numb to it, don't you? You just say, oh, oh you heard a siren? Was there a siren? <laughs> yeah, we hear them. We come here to visit. We hear them. Okay, the next station should be 1180 WSQR, Sycamore, Illinois, the squirrel. I can't touch this. <laughs> I love it. Awesome. We love the squirrel. <laughs> WRTO, Chicago, Illinois. Okay, 
WKRS, Joaquin, Illinois, ESPN, Espanol. WCLO, Janesville, Wisconsin. WSBC, Chicago, Illinois. It's kind of a hard one to pick up right here. It's a station 60 miles away. Like I said, the antenna is so small in here that I can't expect it to pick up much, but um, still fun radio. I mean, for the money. Swim, simple, easy to use. Love the digital aspect of it. You know where you're at in the dial, which is really nice. It's a pretty accurate dial, of course. So I'm guessing it's a DSP. WBIG, Aurora, Illinois. Barely picking that up. Yeah, this is this is the benchmark station here. Big radios usually get it, but little radios like this, not usually. Okay. The RDZ Lagrange or <laughs> Yeah, I'm barely picking this up. This is WIBA, Madison, Wisconsin. Definitely a high noise floor. We're going to skip past these other stations. Already kind of mixed. Thirteen sixties WLBK to Cal Illinois. You said it, sweet. Okay. okay. We got some music on WBEL South Beloit, Illinois. I think if I want to jam out, I'm probably going to put on the FM. <laughs> you know, I'm debating. I think I might do an FM band scan real quick with this radio. Yeah, we probably will. Once we're done here, we'll just flip through the dial real fast. WRMN, Elgin, Illinois. WEEF, Deerfield, Illinois. And I'm barely picking these up. WROK, Rockford, Illinois. The Iron Country WGEZ Beloit, Wisconsin, usually having country music. Hard time picking that one up. The RDD, Waukesha, Wisconsin.
WCGO, Evanston, Illinois. Sixteen forty of WSJP, Sussex, Wisconsin. At least you guys get an idea what this thing can do. I'm yeah, barely picking that up. Yeah, don't bother. Okay, we are definitely going to do an FM band scan. I figure what the heck. We'll just cruise through them pretty quick, though. They, they do hit you with those, uh... Demonetizing things. WBON, Chicago, Illinois. So that pretty much. I heard him say it barely, okay. And it pretty much tops off there. Okay, for AM. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to turn this down and we're going to go raise this little baby antenna. <laughs> Super long. You know, actually, I wonder how long the antenna is. I have it written down here. I'll just look that up because interesting to remember 15 inch. Okay, 15 inch antenna. I'm not going to cut anything to it. We're just going to see what it can do here. And I'm going to go to the FM band and hit over here, the band select button, auxiliary, FM, and we're going to tune to the bottom of the band here. It has a seek function, which is nice, but uh, yeah, I wish it could get to the bottom faster, but it's stopping. <laughs> It'll find a station to stop. That's why it's taking a while. Okay, okay, come on, you can do it. Okay, start on the bottom here. I'm just going to go through the band, see what we can find. Box office. Do you currently get regular structured settlement or annuity payments from an insurance So right now I'm downstairs with no boosted antenna, just a straight, straight whip. And uh, we're going to just go through the FM band and see uh, how it does. Typically this is the worst spot in the house for this. So we will see. You've set a very effective boundary where you're saying, look, I love you. I'm sorry you're hurting. I'd be willing to work with you. And, and re and just for kicks, I'll hook up the wire just to see... If it pulls anything extra on that station, I'm curious. Yeah. So I'm using a little Texan wire that's just strung up in my window blinds, south-facing window. Um, I'm going to leave it on because this is kind of the same reception I was getting when I was upstairs. So we're going to leave it on. Here, I'll show you guys what we're doing. So here is the Texan wire. Like I said, it's from a PL380. I think it's like a 15-foot wire. Like I said, this guy's strung up in the blinds. It's not even going outside. In line with previous periods of Brazil. $50. We want to finish it. And in six minutes, our Carl and crew team is going to hand off the baton to member. Well, you know, I know him, and uh, this is the way that I have looked at it. Aid Indonesia Days. You should find the defendant guilty. So for aggravated battery of a firearm, we have to prove, one, that the defendant intentionally caused...
Okay, I'm gonna do some seeking now. I'm gonna find stations on its own. Okay, maybe not. It's passing up a bunch. <laughs> All right, hold on. So that seeking isn't very good. <laughs> Cool music. I haven't radio danced in a while. IRS tax assistance program called Tombs. It's going to be another fun filled week at Austin's just to have more. Sometimes it's hard to change a man. I'm hungry. <laughs> to go, or they can customize to your specifications for wow, weddings, commercials, and uh, FM like crazy. Just went upstairs. Tunes. <laughs> right up that tit. Love it. Skills. <laughs> Coming up from CBS News. WBBM Sports. Blackhawks are at Ottawa. And in business, the Dow is down 232 points. Cool. Very cool. All right, we're almost done here. So you got to see the FM. Yeah. Cool. Okay, great. Let me just uh, take this off. We'll do final thoughts on the band scan. Cool. On the Jensen.
SR50. I mean, this thing is like a little sleeper hit. Uh, yeah, for 16, what was it, 1679? You can get this radio. It takes four AA batteries. It has an optional uh, DC input there, auxiliary in. Um, so yeah, I mean, just a cool travel radio because you have dual alarms. You can wake up to a beeper or the radio on both of those, which is really nice. Snooze function. These buttons are really easy to touch at night. You know, you can just reach over there. They're finger size, so it's nice. Easy to, you know, hit if you want to snooze. Sleep function, nap function. I mean, yeah, it's great. Uh, tuning and, and the volume is very easy to use. Uh, it's just a really good, well thought out, inexpensive radio. Um, it works really nice. And make sure I turn this off, otherwise we'll drain the batteries. So there we go. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, definitely get some recommendation. If you guys are interested in this radio and you're going to buy it, uh, I'll put a link down below. You can get this at Walmart. You can get this at, uh, you know, your basic, I think, like Target and stuff. But uh, I think with Amazon, you can pick it up too when it comes to your door in two days. You don't have to go out and shop around. But, you know, if you want to just grab it there and support the channel, that's awesome. So I'll link there for you. Um, I appreciate it. Definitely worth the money. It has great sound. Great on the FM band, especially when I'm upstairs. Just amazing. Uh, AM band's pretty decent during the nighttime and, you know, acceptable during the day. I'm pretty happy with it. So definitely recommend this radio. Uh, so if you enjoyed the presentation of the Jensen medium wave and FM daytime band scan, give me a big like. I appreciate it. I didn't know I was going to do FM. I just figured, what the heck? We had extra time. You know, let it go. Let's have some fun. <laughs> let it roll. Uh, so two, if you like Jensen radios, you're like, yeah, Jensen rocks, brother then by all means hit subscribe, hit the bell icon if you're new to the channel, uh, get notified of future videos. I put a video out every day, uh, so you can expect that to continue um, as long as I can keep getting radios. <laughs> That's a big deal to me. I got to keep the channel funded because this is get rather uh, intense. <laughs> Let's call it that. Um, a lot of fun. So yeah, definitely subscribe. And uh, if you uh, want to comment on this radio, comment below. Just definitely uh, share your thoughts on the Jensen SR50, I think it's worth the 17 bucks. I mean, I really do. It's unique, different, has great sound. Um, digital is very important. I mean, it works really well. It locks on those stations. You know, selectivity is great, so I can't complain there. I wish the AM performance was a little bit better, but yeah, it is what it is. And then, of course, join me on Patreon. A little link will pop up here with a letter P. If you don't know what that is, it's a site where creators can share extra content with you guys. And it's a place where you can come and help sponsor the channel. If you wanted to help support this channel by giving a dollar or two, help old Todd out to give him more, more radio reviews, uh, comparisons, different things like that. Um, it's awesome. And then I provide a lot for you guys on that section. If you want to check it out, um, old time radio shows inside of this radio. I mean, there's just so much there. I, I invest a lot of time every day on that site for you guys. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of free content. Just go there and enjoy it. And if you feel like sponsoring, reward tier there just check it out feel what fits your needs and I'd like to see some new faces it'd be awesome so definitely check it out yeah <laughs> all right so we'll see you in the next episode uh stay tuned for more and uh we'll see you then take care and goodbye